this from uncovering chemistry now in this topic we are going to study about why nucleophilic substitution reactions are difficult in haloarenes that is a question is asked now this is video 19 chapter 10 halo alkane haloarenes topic 10.7.2 Give reason or a question is asked why aryl halides or what we call it as haloarenes are less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction. Now there are total four reasons are there. The first reasons is what the resonance e resonance effect you can see here what I, that I'll explain. Second reason is difference in hybridization. Third reason, third reason here you can see instability of phenyl cation. and fourth reason is repulsion between nucleophile and electrorich arenes so we will start with the first reason what is given here you can see here okay now what is this resonance effect now resonance we know there is a formation of double bond partial double bond character due to which bond cleavage that is breaking in haloarenes is difficult than hello alkenes now we are talking about a nucleophil nucleophil means it is an electron rich compound what we call right uh, you can take it an example as suppose uh, oh minus like this all nucleophil right so if i want to substitute this oh minus on a benzene ring now benzene ring already it is containing a halogen here so it this to substitute this here it is very difficult for in for that one reason is resonance effect now when we talk about this resonance effect it is given in your textbook on page number 311 right now here this is this what i am talking about ha uh, this what is the word aryl halides are extremely less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction reaction due to resonance effect now in this resonance effect when we see here you can see chlorine it will donate an electron pair and activate the benzene ring so what will happen in this case so when it donate an electron you will see there is a formation of double bond and these are the resonance structure 1 2 3 and 4 this we have already studied in 11 standard right so what will happen in this case if you see what happen here there is a formation of double bond and we know that double bond is stronger than shorter than single bond so we have discussed that uh, shorter the bond length stronger is the what we call bond what we call right so here you can see in haloarenes the electron pair on halogen atoms are in conjugation with pi electrons of the ring and following this thing will occur now ccl bond means this is this ccl what we are talking about c and cl bond right it acquires a partial double bond character due to resonance and as a result the bond cleavage in haloarene is what difficult because this is a shorter bond line it is difficult to break right and therefore they are less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction right so this one reason i think it is clear to you what is the reason ha huh? what is the reason formation of partial double bond ha huh? that is the reason why it is difficult to break that's why this oh cannot be substituted here because here due to resonance there will be a formation of a double bond right so this part i think clear this we have seen in structure 2 structure 2 what we have seen what we saw in structure 2 here yeah, this electron pair is given here this will get activated so here you will see a minus sign and double bond cl is formed and this is difficult to break what we say oh, so oh will not be substituted here right so this is the reason now second reason what we are discussing about is difference in hybridization right so when we talk about difference in hybridization remember this thing in haloarenes halogen attached carbon is sp2 hybridized that is uh, halogen is attached to a carbon which is attached to a double bond means this carbon is sp2 hybridized right and in haloalkane halogen attached carbon that is like c and c it is attached to this is sp3 hybridized right now this is also given in your textbook i'll go through it later on but just pay attention here sp2 hybridized carbon is what 
sp2 hybridized carbon is more electronegative than sp3 hybridized carbon clear therefore due to formation again due to this reason sp2 hybridized there is again a formation of what a double bond between halogen and the carbon of the benzene ring this is what we have discussed already that is for first from reason one only so bond length becomes what shorter due to formation of the double bond bond length becomes shorter in halo arrays that is how much it is it becomes 169 picometer right and when we talk about in halo alkene the bond length is 177 so which one is shorter so this is the shorter bond length right so what will happen in this case we know that shorter the bond length stronger is the bond therefore it is difficult to break this cx bond which this one huh this is the cx bond which is difficult to break so now huh, you cannot substitute a nucleophile there so i think everyone understood the second reason this also is based on the reason number one that is resonance effect a double bond characteristic right now this is given in your textbook like this you can see here right what is written here you can see this is halo arenes and it is difficult why because this carbon what we say no, is sp2 hybrid carbon when we talk about halo alkene it can easily give this nucleophilic substitution reaction what is the reason because this carbon is sp3 and sp2 carbon is more electronegative this you can underline this in your textbook huh? and the bond length and everything is given so this is the reason now the third point is instability of phenyl cation right that is the third part third reason, uh, reason what we are going to study now what happens in this suppose here instead of halogen if we write as cl we will write here this will be a chloride ion what is formed what happens in this case there there will be a self ionization means this one will take the electron pair and you will see there is a formation of phenyl cation now phenyl cation is not stabilized by resonance right why phenyl cation when we write here like this when we write here so this is the positive ion what we say and it is attached to what we call it as this carbon is what sp2 hybridized right so this will not be stabilized by a resonance structure what we say right so this resonance structure when we say when we activate this ring like this resonance structure we write this is not stabilized by resonance that's why this instability of phenyl cation will not allow the nucleophile nucleophile to get attached here right the reason because this is already electron rich what is this this carbon is sp2 hybridized more electronegative so it is already having these are the pi bonds what we are talking about pi pi electron what we say right so what will happen these are already having an electron so you if you need to uh, what you call sub, uh, substitute a nucleophile which is electron rich Huh? it will be difficult right so what will happen due to instability of phenyl cation you cannot substitute here yeah huh? now for that they have given in your textbook one example uh, explanation is there for instability of phenyl cation what is written here in case of halogen the phenyl cation formed as a result of what self ionization will not be stabilized by resonance why it is not stabilized i had already explained therefore sn1 mechanism is ruled out sn1 means simple word nucleophilic reaction is little bit difficult and it is ruled out why because in sn1 reaction we know step 1 in step 1 what was formed step 1 there is a formation of carbocation was there right so here the carbocation will only be not stabilized what is it then how sn1 reaction will occur so sn1 reaction is ruled out in this case huh? in step ability of phenyl cation second one is because of the possible repulsion it is likely for an electron rich nucleophile to approach electron rich arenes means what what we already discussed here you can see nucleophile is also electron rich and the arenes when we say arenes means already we have seen here uh, arene what we say uh, here this is also electron rich arrange what we say so nucleophile cannot get substituted here because this carbon what we say is what sp2 hybridized if it forms what we call it as if it forms huh, like this uh, phenyl cation also it is not stabilized so this nucleophile cannot attack on this electron rich phenyl what we call electron rich arrange what we say right so this is the fourth reason what we have discussed huh? now there is an exception means under drastic condition and high temperature and pressure nucleophilic substituent reaction in halo arenes are possible now this one what is given in your book that is here you can see means this reaction what we said are difficult they are not easy but the reason why that four reasons what we have seen but it is possible that is drastic condition what is the word they have given drastic condition 
in drastic condition when we say drastic condition means what what is drastic condition means high temperature and high pressure high pressure it is possible now what is given here see chlorobenzene can be converted into what phenol by heating in aqueous sodium hydroxide solution at a temperature of this huh, and pressure 300 so you can see this is the high temperature and high pressure it is possible right now here what is given so, chlorobenzene when it is treated with what NaOH huh, what will happen in this case uh, at in temperature you can see and 300 atmospheric pressure huh, and this is the first step clear and in second step the H plus will be substituted here so you will see here phenol is formed what is formed phenol means we have already substituted from NaOH OH minus is a nucleophile huh? we have substituted here but it is possible only due to high temperature and pressure clear then the second one the presence of an electron withdrawing group EDG what we have discussed what EDG huh? at which position ortho and which position para so here you can see this is the para position already you can see at para position and uh, EDG is group EDG group is there so if it is there now you can see the temperature here what it was here there was no electron withdrawing group right uh, sorry not huh? electron withdrawing sorry Huh? So here you can see temperature is 620 but if NO2 is there you can see the temperature has decreased and you can easily substitute OH here right. If there are more electron which group sorry huh? withdrawing group withdrawing group EWG electron withdrawing groups are there you can see two electron withdrawing groups so temperature will still decrease can you see it has become how much. 368 Kelvin. So, if electron withdrawing groups are there, you can at less temperature, you can substitute this OH, but there are drastic condition. The word is what? In drastic condition, this is, is this reaction is possible. Okay. So, this you have to remember here. Now, you can see another is also given. The third reaction is given here. Can you see here? There are total three electron donating groups uh, sorry electron withdrawing groups how many three electron withdrawing groups are there huh you can see here electron withdrawing groups are there right so what will happen in this you have to just warm huh so what will happen warm in presence of water what you will get this oh will be substituted here and chlorine will be removed because in water you know h plus and what is there oh minus so this h plus will go with this Cl and you can see here. But the effect is pronounced when NO2 group is introduced at which position? Ortho and para position. Clear? So ortho and para, these are ortho, this ortho, ortho and this is para. Okay? The first uh, two, uh, three reactions what we see, you can see here also, this was with group ortho and this was ortho, sorry, this is para para and this is ortho. Means at the ortho and para it is possible but not at meta. Huh? It is not possible. Huh? However, no effect. You can see here, ortho and para, it is possible to introduce this. Huh? But, however, no effect on reactivity of haloarenes is observed by presence of electron withdrawing group at which position? Meta. So, for this, they have given a resonance structure. See, this is at which position? Here you can see this is the uh, para position. Which position? Para position NO2 group. So, wherever you can see NO2 group is there, no? uh, this minus sign is delocalized due to resonance, what we call. Huh? See, you can see here minus sign is here, minus sign is here, but here you have to be very important that minus sign delocalization is also on the carbon at which NO2 is substituted. For which one? I am talking about para, right? So, here it is possible, right? Now, in this case, this is the ortho position. Which position? Ortho. So, here also also when you see the resonance structure the minus sign can you see this minus sign huh? it is with NO2 group carbon huh? wherever NO2 is there this minus sign is there huh? and then this minus side is this position and minus sign is this, this position okay but when we talk about this part this is which part what we say this is meta position meta position when you see the minus sign will not be there wherever NO2 group is there see you can see everywhere at this three position the minus sign is not at NO2 see but in our first what we discussed the minus sign was here at NO2 in the second structure minus sign was at NO2 but in meta position when we say meta position the minus sign is not at the carbon containing NO2 group and that's why uh, it is what we say the effect is not 
So there is no effect on reactivity of haloarenes in observed in presence of this group at which position? Meta position. So this is the reason what I said, right? Now this same thing, the answer is given here. You can just read it so you can understand this part, okay? You can see the negative charge appeared at ortho and para position with hel uh, relay respect to the substituent stabilized by NO2 group. While in case of meta, nitrobenzene, none of the resonating structure bear the negative charge. Huh? This is the part on the carbon bearing NO2 group. This is the answer to the question. Okay. So, we will stop this video here. In the next video, we will be discussing about electrophilic substitution reaction. This part in the next video. Okay. Thank you.